वेलकम टू माई शो वेलकम टू माई वीडियो दिस इज राज साहू द प्रेजेंटर रिसेंटली एंड दिस इज सम वेरी वेरी गुड न्यूज फॉर अस हु हैव बीन फाइटिंग टू एक्सपोज पॉल द फॉल्स अपोसल एंड दैट ही इज द एंटी क्राइस्ट ओके नाउ रिसेंटली अ लॉट ऑफ प्लेसेस आई हैव सीन दैट बुक्स हैव कम अप ऑन Paul is the antichrist and stuff like that. Oh, I'm so happy! It really gives me the happiness in my heart that finally, finally, the man of sin is being revealed. But before we jump into that and know why this guy is the antichrist, because I have myself been recording a lot of videos and it's striking a chord for the first time with the Christians that were we deceived? Was Paul the antichrist to come? because if he is not we have missed him the antichrist you know why because there is there is this question based on what john is revealed 2000 years back guys i am taking you right back to 2000 years soon after jesus departed or ascended heaven john says but before that this is the question and also the title of the video and it is based on what john is revealing about the antichrist who was there and his and the brother of jesus james especially too read that study that today it directly attacks the antichrist the fake apostle who's there now question of this the the title of this movie and the question of this subject is who is this antichrist who came 2000 years ago and we missed it completely we have no clue who's this antichrist who was standing there teaching falsehoods and destroying pretty much everything jesus taught and father god his law who is this antichrist who came soon after and was there at the time of john at the time of james and the apostles he was there he wasted no time and we are still waiting isn't that an iron irony any anyway let's jump straight into it so we finish this early my videos really go long but they are full of good information so it's good to spend some time there but this will be shorter than those 35 minute videos question is why didn't we believe the apostle john when he revealed the antichrist had come soon after christ departure in first john 4 3 before that i will be reading again first john 2 18 23 again all this is being done because the steam which has now which is building up about paul being anti christ i'm adding more fuel to that fire so that this man of sin is completely revealed and finally our churches except we were all deceived so quickly guys first john 2 18 23 open your bible so just listen to these words little children says john it is the last hour as you have heard that the antichrist is coming even now many antichrists have come he is talking in present tense they are there we missed it then how will we know the doctrine of jesus christ even now many antichrists have come by which we know that this is the last hour well god's uh, last hour lasts a thousand years remember so this is literally the thousand days a uh, thousand years is but a day in god's time table check it out psalms 91 it's in by peter also same thing he says but we won't stop at that apostle john had alerted alerted us that antichrist had already entered while john was ministering but we rejected john and are still searching and waiting for the antichrist to come he was there 2000 years back unless john is deceiving which is not he is the beloved apostle of the jesus it's like jesus speaking guys he is alerting he's come he's here and and then first john 4 look at this first john 4 3 but every spirit that does not acknowledge this is again john revealing in his epistle but every spirit that does not acknowledge jesus is not from god this is the spirit of the antichrist now hear very carefully with rapt attention which you have heard is coming 
which you've heard is coming, the Antichrist. And even now is already in the world. So he was there. Why didn't we ask questions to this Antichrist? Have we missed him? Yes, we have. Else John is lying, like I said, it's impossible. John was the beloved, one of the apostles he loved the most, if not the most. He's telling us he's there in the world, 1 John 4, 3. All right. Now question is, how did we miss him? Hmm? Why did we miss him? But the answer is already there in this. I just read out 1 John 4, 3. By this you know the spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is of God and every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. This is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have already heard was coming and is already in the world. You know what Paul says in 2 Corinthians 5.16. Thank you sunshine McElrath. It's your courtesy. I have this verse. Wherefore henceforth now. Now this is Paul speaking. <laughs> Look at the symmetry or how congruent he is with what John saying who is the Antichrist. Wherefore, or let me uh, read the 2 Corinthians 5.16, yeah. Wherefore, henceforth know, we know man after the flesh, yea, though we know him, known Christ after the flesh, yet now henceforth know we no more. So it's like a lot of uh, Victorian kind of, I will read out the New King James Version. I will read out a New King James Version which comes easier to me, maybe to some of you also. Therefore, listen carefully. This is in reply to what John is saying. That's why the Bible had given us in enough clues to know who this man of sin was, who was this fake apostle. Jesus talks about in Revelation 2 verse 2 when he commended once like yours truly and others who are fighting to expose this fake apostle, he says, well done, kids, my children, I'm paraphrasing, for exposing the false apostle who claimed to be apostles but are not. There was one extra apostle, 13th, who was not appointed by Jesus. It was Paul. That's what he's talking about in Revelation 2, verse 2. And in uh, further Revelation 21, 14, it reveals there were four, uh, 12 foundations after the names of 12 apostles. Who's this 13th apostle? who claimed himself to be an apostle Paul. Everybody else was handpicked by Jesus, including Matthias. Check Acts 1. Okay. So this is New King James Version. Now this is in reply like 1 John, uh, 1 John 4 verse 3 of uh, John when he asked the spirit who denies Jesus. Is that person, Paul, may now read this. Therefore, from now on, we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, yet now we know him thus no more. He's denying. That's an accurate answer to the thing John was asking in 4.3. Can I read the 4.3 for you guys? Give me a second. I will be reading out 1 John 4 verse 3. By this you know that the Spirit of God, every spirit that confesses that Jesus has come in the flesh of God, is the is of flesh of has come in the flesh is of God. And every spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh is not of God. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist which you have heard was coming and is already there in the world. That's 1 John 4, 2 and 3. And this is the spirit of the Antichrist, a spirit that does not confess that Jesus Christ has come in flesh and is not of God. That person is not of God, that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. Now look at the reply of, uh, that's a clinching evidence. 2 Corinthians 5.16, Paul says this, what does he say? Therefore from now on we regard no one according to the flesh. Even though we have known Christ according to the flesh, 
yet now we know him thus no more right so that should let you know that this is this was the deceiver guys it's time to wake up i'll be folding this video in 2 minutes or 5 3 minutes or 4 minutes grace was a word jesus never uttered in the bible according to any of the books we have any translation tell me one where he uses the word grace it's missing in action then how are we saved by grace through faith who taught this paul who came without any witnesses he had no witnesses except his own no credible witnesses not even one who is this 13th man paul is he the antichrist yes he is now guys uh, you have already an idea that uh, this man is the antichrist he has worked to destroy everything father and the son taught but i won't go into that i will plant links to my videos check them out his uh, doctrine of said by grace through faith and not by works was completely rejected on the day of judgment this is a clinching evidence for you and me it's there in the Re, uh, revelation 20 11 15 the last day judgment day account and jesus has provided uh, account in matthew 25 31 46 jesus told us or gave us the criteria he will use it was works works of what loving kindness and not faith alone said by grace through faith grace is a word he never talked never used on the day of judgment what is the chances that he will use it zero then why are you banking on this fall why are you teaching teachers a failed doctrine a rejected christ doctrine rejected by christ doctrine this man was the antichrist guys it's time to build this we want i want your participation if you are truly a follower of jesus you will work hard on these uh, information pieces of information we provide and these links study them check it out and then go into the among the people among the churches and tell them what has happened aren't we the church am i not a christian have i not devoted most of my life to jesus rather than squabbling study read he is the predicted antichrist to come and he came and read james 2 it smashes this man paul to smithereen the brother of jesus james did he says faith is dead you fool faith is he tells us you foolish man don't you know faith is dead without good works is telling us who are banking on pauls said by grace through faith he says faith is dead without works while paul teaches the opposite well that's just james there is so much abundance of evidence including damning confession confessions of this fake apostle paul including in second corinthians 1216 he thunders the crafty fellow that i paul am i took you the church in by deceit how much more evidence do you want guys go for it join this movement which is picking up that paul is the antichrist we want jesus this is the bottom line we want his red lettered words to be taught his doctrine to be explained to us and from now on we want the messiah we want the messiah let there be a chorus we want the words of the messiah thank you guys for watching the video god bless you all